dry mouth is referred to as xerostomia. It is possible for an individual to experience a sensation of dryness in the mouth, even when saliva production is objectively normal, and this condition is still classified as xerostomia. When describing dry mouth, individuals often report feelings of being air parched or having cotton mouth, along with soreness or a burning sensation and difficulty in swallowing or speaking. Initially, when considering dry mouth, it is crucial to rule out medication-induced xerostomia. Many medications, including antidepressants, allergy medications, antihistamines, decongestants, and diuretics, can cause dry mouth. In such cases, treatment may involve switching to an alternative medication that does not cause dry mouth, adjusting the dosage, or, if these are not viable options, using saliva stimulants such as pilocarpine or sevamoline. Additionally, avoiding tobacco and caffeine can alleviate symptoms of dry mouth. The use of lozenges and sugarless gum containing xylitol can also stimulate saliva flow. It is advisable to avoid mouth breathing as it exacerbates dry mouth. Ensuring adequate hydration is essential, particularly during exercise, in hot weather, or when sweating, as dehydration is a common cause of dry mouth. The second most common cause of dry mouth is Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease typically beginning with dry eyes, as the most prevalent symptom is dry eyes, followed by dry mouth. Sjogren's syndrome affects women in 90% of cases and is usually diagnosed after the age of 40. Individuals may also experience vaginal dryness and sometimes joint pain. While there is no specific treatment for Sjogren's syndrome, managing symptoms is important. It is also noteworthy that Sjogren's syndrome can increase the risk of lymphoma by 40 times. Treatment for the symptoms includes the use of artificial tears, artificial saliva in the form of sprays or gels that mimic saliva, and humidifiers. Furthermore, dry mouth is common after a cold or flu, usually due to mouth breathing. Approximately 50% of people experience dry mouth during or after these illnesses. Habitual mouth breathing, whether due to nasal congestion or habit, is another common cause of dry mouth, as are alcohol, caffeine, and tobacco, which can all exacerbate the condition. Diabetes is another frequent cause of dry mouth. High blood sugar levels draw fluid from tissues into the bloodstream, leading to its excretion via urine. Consequently, diabetes can cause frequent urination, dry mouth, increased thirst, and increased hunger, with nearly 50% of people with diabetes experiencing dry mouth. Radiation therapy for cancer treatment and radioiodine therapy can also increase the risk of xerostomia by damaging the salivary glands, a common side effect of such treatments. Recommendations for managing dry mouth include drinking around 10 glasses of water daily, limiting intake of sugary drinks, foods, and alcohol, sucking on sugar-free lozenges or chewing sugar-free gum, preferably containing xylitol, and using saliva substitutes if dry mouth is particularly severe.